Hey agents, we got the targeted loot allocation for July 3rd, 2020. This is Shadow Gaming, and before I get started, I did want to let you guys know that we got a clan that's fairly new and Discord server. I'll have the link for that in the pinned comment below. If you guys are looking to join the clan or get into a new clan, just go ahead and join. It'll be in the pinned comment, Shadow Crew SHA. You can just go ahead and join on PS4 or PC if you're looking to join a new clan. I, I just want to get started with the Dark Zones, the DC area, West Side and East, and then we'll go to New York City. So we got backpacks in DZ West, and we got light machine guns in DZ South, and we got holsters in DZ East. Basically everything today that has a DZ exclusive and is worth farming for pretty much, at least in DZ West and East. We do got backpacks, so that's the gift backpack. This is really worth it to get. That's a backpack with perfect vigilance on it. Now, I, I haven't gotten this one yet, and I'm going to go for it today. I do want to do the raid later today and try to finish it, but I just really, really would like to get the gift as well. I would dedicate a few hours today to trying to get that backpack. Light Machine Gun to DZ South. Now, that has the Black Friday for today. The Black Friday is a pretty good light machine gun, and then, of course, you can get the Bullet King or Pestilence. You can always get those in the DC area if you just want to wait for another day. Probably tomorrow it'll be in DC or New York City. It's up to you guys, but the Black Friday I have never been able to get from DC. It's not part of the Warlords of New York expansion pack either, I believe, so I would check that out in the DZ when you get a chance. And then of course holsters in DZ East, the Claws Out holster. I don't know if this is a DZ exclusive. It used to be, and it might still be, but it drops pretty easily from the DZ if, if it's holsters for that day. So if you need that, it's great for shield builds. Go ahead and grab it. In the northern area, there really isn't anything I'd recommend except for knee pads. You can get the Ninja Bike Messenger Pads. You can get Fox's Prayer Knee Pads if you don't have either or one of those. It would be worth it to go grab. It's also nowhere else today in DC or New York City. All right, so the highlights for the west side, we got gear sets at Federal Emergency Bunker, rifles at West End, Walker Harrison Co. at Downtown West, assault rifles at Foggy Bottom, Providence Defense in West Potomac Park, Wyvernware at Lincoln Memorial, and Hana Yu at the Pentagon. We even got gold line gear at Roosevelt Island, so I would start off with the rifles. You can get the Merciless, you can get the Diamondback, you can get a good M1A, MK17, although I don't even recommend those anymore. I would recommend an M1A for a rifle whenever or the diamondback and then of course and also if you want to farm for the merciless or the diamondback i would just put that on challenging and hit up these control points it's also a manhunt so you could just do it on heroic if you want i usually farm for exotics on challenging though that'd probably be your best bet it decreases the loot pool size gear sets besides the chest and backpack for foundry bulwark you can get foundry bulwark future initiative eclipse protocol hardwired negotiators dilemma ongoing directive all the gear sets will drop from federal emergency bunker you just can't get the chest and backpack from foundry bulwark so i would check that out and it's time trial that looks kind of fun i like time trials maybe you guys do too i don't know walker harrison co at downtown west you can get the chain killer the matador any good rolled piece is worth it on a DPS set, I think. Although I went back to using Providence Defense, Coyote's Mask, you know, Fox's Prayer knee pads, and that just seems to work better in the end. It seems to be the best DPS set still. Uh, we also got Assault Rifles at Foggy Bottom. You can get the P416 variants, the FAMAS. I just got a FAMAS yesterday. Rolled really well. And it rolled with Strain on it. So I... I'm really happy about that rifle. I really wanted to get a good FAMAS. You can craft them in the base of operations, but I would just go farm for one probably. Normally you can't get one to roll high enough that you actually want it. Providence Defense is always good to farm. You can go check out West Potomac Park. It's going to be a mandatory part of a DPS build, so it's always worth it to farm. Haunting you at the Pentagon. I, I don't know if you guys really want to go to the Pentagon to farm. If you're looking for Hana Yu, there is a targeted loot area in New York City, I think in Battery Park. So you don't have to go here to farm if you don't want to. Wyverware is always good with a skill damage build. The first piece gives you that 10% skill damage. So if you need it, check it out. It's Lincoln Memorial. It's only three bosses at the end. So you can clear it fast and you get three bosses that all drop loot at the very end. And then China Lights over here at White House and at the DARPA Research Lab. So if you're looking for a good explosives artillery turret build, 
I would check that out and at least get one good piece to drop. All right, so the highlights for the east side would be Fenner's Group at Grand Washington Hotel, Shotguns at District Union, Assault Rifles at Judiciary Square. We also got gloves at East Mall, Golan Gear, American History Museum, chess pieces at Capitol Building, Grupo Sombro at Southwest, Seska at Space Administration HQ. This, this is a really good day actually. So Fenris, I was farming those yesterday when they were in downtown East at the demolition site XP farm. I got a few really good rolled pieces of Fenris yesterday. So it gives me some options on where I want to put my gear pieces at on a DPS build with the Eagle Bearer, but it's nice to have that extra 10% assault rifle damage. I think it's mandatory if you're running an assault rifle. It does Nothing gives you that base 10% assault rifle damage like the one piece Fenris. Nothing really makes any difference in terms of that raw base damage being added. And then of course, if you're looking for the Sweet Dream, you can run this on Challenging. If you're running it on Legendary and you need Sweet Dreams for some reason, hey, you can still get it. It'd be easier on Challenging though. More likely it would drop probably. And then assault rifles, once again, if you don't want to farm over here in Foggy Bottom, go for it. Aralda Holdings is good too. I mean, if you're looking for the perfect headhunter build, you're going to need at least minimum one piece of that. And then gloves, if you're looking for BTSU gloves, contractor's gloves, you can farm me small. There's four control points back to back right here. And then Grupo Sumbro, there's also the No Hope uh, Hotel XP farm. So if you want to just farm that over and over again until you get a good piece of Grupo Sumbro, that would be the fastest and easiest way to do it in my opinion. And then Seska if you're looking for that extra 10% crit hit chance. And then gear sets if you want to go to Jefferson Plaza instead of Federal Emergency Bunker. Alright, let's go check out New York City. We do got Providence Defense at the Tombs, Backpacks at Civic Center, System Mods at Stranded Tanker, Badger Tough at Two Bridges, Haunted U at Battery Park, Mass at Pathway Park, Gila Guard at Wall Street, Submachine Guns at Liberty Island, Sokolo Concern at Financial District. I would really just recommend Providence Defense at the Tombs. If you don't want to farm West Potomac Park, you can farm a mission, so that gives you some choice. And then backpacks. If you're looking for a good backpack piece, I would farm that area. Whenever whenever there's chess pieces like there was at Capitol Building, I would farm that on Legendary. The rules will be better more than likely and come with better talents on the chess piece. So that's just what happens in my experience when I farm Legendaries. It seems to drop not only higher, but in a better situation. Like you're more likely to get a chess piece with like Obliterate on it with at least one or two reds. So that just makes it easier for everyone else. But that's just happened in my experience. Let me know in the comment section below if it's any different for you. That's pretty much all I would farm here. The Lady Death and the Chatterbox if you want to get them. But I never recommend farming Liberty Island. So it's up to you guys. Anyway, that's the end of the Target Loot Allocation for July 3rd, 2020. I did want to thank someone who did a subscription to my Subscribestar. That's Angelo Damien. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. And to go that extra mile to support me on an alt tech platform was really cool. I really appreciate that. You even followed me on Twitter. You did all the steps I hope for every subscriber to do, or at least, you know, most of the steps, at least following me on Twitter and at least checking me out on Subscribescar. You know, you guys don't have to give me money or anything. I, I really do appreciate it. It helps the channel. It helps me out a lot, but you guys don't have to, but I do like seeing people do that, going the extra mile to support one of their favorite creators. So if you guys want to join the clan, if you guys want to join the Discord server, the links will be in the description below and in the pinned comment below. Thanks so much to everyone that's been subscribed. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Shadow Gaming, signing off.